Hello people, today we shall learn about the how we can migrate a specific rule to the other environment. As we know that in Pega, we would have dev, QA, UAT, pre-prod and production environments. So in most of the scenarios, we might not migrate the whole application. In some cases, we just only migrate the specific components. Uh, such as data objects or you know some other rule sets as well to include in the patch release so it's more like a technical right so imagine you are switching offices at work to ensure a smooth transition you can prepare a detailed list of office supplies right and personal belongings as well that you need to relocate items such as desk chairs lightning fixtures that already exist in the new office so they wouldn't be included on the list so once your list is ready you pack up the listed items and load them onto a designated moving trolley so upon reaching your new office space right you unload the trolley and carefully unpack each item arranging them in a new places so that's what it happens here as well so in other environments like in the production environments we already have the data but the updated rule sets or updated the data instances would not be present so only that particular instance that particular rule sets or that particular data objects we need to migrate to the production environment now how we can do so in order to migrate the whole application so we can have multiple options like if you go to the configure now we will be having a application distribution we will be having a package and we will be having export now why we need to go to the package and why we need, uh, need to go to the export means the main difference is so in the packaging right so we just we need to choose what we need to do first suppose what we need to allow to choose actually but in the uh, export right you just export the whole application without asking any questions but in the package we need to select each and everything what we need to select which component which rule everything we need to select in the package but in the export we might not get so and so questions actually so you just import the export the application without asking further questions so those are the differences between package and export so that is for what whole application but here we need to already in the production we have that application but we need the updated data instances or rules whatever it may be now how can we achieve so at that particular right so we just need to create a product rule so in order to create a product rule so first we need to go to the sysadmin so in the sysadmin we having a product we just go to that product and we just create a product rule so first suppose uh, here we can have that you know um, some production uh, or else you know updated something like that okay it should be meaningful here for testing purpose i'm just you know writing it as a updated something updated some cwr what it and here we need to mention it as a production version for suppose here i'm uh, mentioning with a v1 so it's up to you actually it should be a meaningful that we know and the context look for the context yeah now go ahead and create and open so right now we are not exporting the whole application right so we can ignore this thing <clears throat> and we can ignore this thing as well why because all the rule sets and everything would be present if the rules is, are updated or something right you can very well use this as well but over here what is our main aim and what is our main concentration is we just want to uh, you know export a specific rule for suppose in the day environment one activity has been updated some more steps has been inculcated now that particular activity we need to export into the production environment 
so remaining all rules are present only that particular activity with updated steps that need to be migrated to the production environment we need only that particular activity now how can we do that so at that particular instance now what we need to do means so we need to come to this section called individual instance to handle so over here now we need to go to that particular rule we need to copy that pz inas key and we need to mention over here this class instance class name and over here we need to update the pz inas key so let's check it out how we can do so over here now i will be taking a uh, some dummy data transform uh, i don't have any sort of uh, let me check or else yeah so this makes sense actually what it may be so what uh, okay so this is there right okay uh, do one thing i will just create a dummy test cwr something and uh, i will copy this context actually and i will create and open so over here so this is for just for testing actually p why not test i know the checkbox and i will save so as soon as you save right now what will happen now we need to copy the pz ins key we know very well how we can copy the pz ins key we can go with the action and we can have this vxml so in that we just search with the pz ins key so this is the pz ins key for that or else the shortcut is that shift f8 so you can copy this and you copy this as well or i think already we had copied so first we need to copy the class over here and then later on it's pz ins key that's it so within a fraction of seconds we just we can create the product rule we can create that specific rule that need to be migrated into the other environments that's it so we just we can save it here and we can uh, if you want to preview that product rule right you can very well have this one actually so you can preview that so over here yeah so one instance has been added that is nothing but this class rule obj model that's it so if you want to click this if you want to view you can very well do but right now i am ignoring this thing and i will create a product rule so as soon as you click this product rule right now the new archive file will be created so let's have this one as uh, cwr v1 so i'm just naming this thing so if we just click on this okay now it will create a archive file so now see here archive has been created so now click on the save button that's it now it will download so this is a zip file which is updated now this zip file we need to migrate it to the import it to the production environment so this is the process which we can easily export a specific rule to the other environments so if you like this video please like share and comment so if you like our videos so please subscribe and as well as share to your friends as well so that they can also learn they can also explore and if you want more poc kind of things so please comment down so that i can prepare for you and i will make more videos for you so till then take care and many thanks for your time many thanks for your patience as well take care bye bye see you in the next video